And before I go to the break, let me transition to a far more serious subject, please, um, because I think it's important to touch on, to be quite honest with you. I want to touch on a little college football and my man, Primetime Deion Sanders, the head coach of the University of Colorado. Coach Prime was pretty pissed off and called out his team following complaints from professors about certain players not engaging in class. In a team meeting, Sanders openly criticized his squad, even singling out specific players by name and reading excerpts from the professor's email to him. Here's one example. Quote, this semester, this is from the professor, has been extremely challenging for me as a professor. I have never felt so disrespected in my 10 years of teaching. Students do not follow even minimally, and it slows down my class so much. They make it clear that they don't want to be here. They have very little personal responsibility, making me responsible for their grades. For the students who do want to learn, it has been a bad experience as well. Since they have to work on breakout rooms and the distracted students do not bring anything, anything, anything to the table, I often have to repeat the same three and four times because student athletes are present, but not really in class. Coach Prime has been preaching about the importance of accountability and responsibility to his team since day one. I can vouch for that myself. Dion believes that a sense of entitlement has infiltrated the Colorado football program and college football in general. Listen up. I often have to repeat the same three and four times because student athletes are present but not really in class. You present, but you ain't really there. You on the field, but you ain't doing nothing. You in a relationship, but you ain't got no love. You at the mall, but you ain't got no money. Got a lot of ability, but no darn talent. Because you don't think. Guys, you're gonna get something out of this. You're gonna be a man, or you're gonna be a great football player. Since you choose not to be a great football player, we gotta make you a man. We good with that? Today was not wonderful. But I'd be darned if I allow these kids to get out of here without something. Without something. Prime time has every right to be as cocky as he wants to be. Primetime Deion Sanders is the greatest cornerback in the history of football. No one will dispute that. He was an All-American in college. He won on that level. He won on a professional level, not one, but two Super Bowl titles. And flash, as flashy as he was, as much as he flossed, he backed it up every single place he went. Whether that was the Atlanta Falcons, whether that was the San Francisco 49ers, whether that was the Dallas Cowboys. Tail end of his career, and you know, we're not talking about that. We're talking about when he was healthy enough to be who the hell we know him to be. The brother was so big time, it was almost an allergic reaction to watch him playing in the daytime because he personified prime, as in prime time. Understand that's how great he was. If you're the University of Colorado's football program, listen and listen good. You don't get to have that kind of arrogance and bravado. You haven't done a damn thing yet. Y'all won four games last year. Y'all went six weeks without winning a game. Prime is prime. So then program improved because he inherited a 1-11 program. But as players, y'all haven't done anything yet. And when a professor sits up there and sends that kind of message and challenges your lack of enthusiasm towards your own education, your lack of focus, your lack of accountability, and essentially talks about you being an entitled individual to the point where the coach has to address the team, and he's talking about you got a girl, but you ain't in a relationship. You at the mall, but you ain't got no money. You talking about going pro, but you ain't succeed here. What he's saying is, is your bark is a hell of a lot more significant than your bite. You ain't really about anything yet. So what are you going to do? If you're players at the University of Colorado, if you're a college player anywhere, in any sport, whatever you're doing, because see, this is the real world out here. 
You got people out here that's waiting for you. And they're waiting to kick your ass in whatever it is that you're going to do. It could be playing football. It could be being an accountant. It could be being a lawyer. It could be being a media pundit. It could be being a journalist. It could be anything. There's always, always, always competition. Are you going to be a winner or somebody that talks about winners? What are you going to be? Because it takes love. It takes dedication. It takes focus. It takes sacrifice. In the world that you're living in right now where your education is free and you go out there in that football field and you're putting in your blood and you're putting in your sweat, but not on all levels to be all that you could be to the point where you got a coach like primetime Deion Sanders. He's got to venture away from football because he's got to talk to you about manhood because you don't seem to know what it entails. That is an indictment against you. If you're a football program at the University of Colorado, you know how embarrassing it is to have a professor write a letter about that or a letter like that about you, what the hell are you doing? You four and eight. You ain't done nothing yet. Dion has. That's my brother. He has. You haven't done anything. Get it together. Because you see, when you have a coach like him, there's a microscope that comes with it. And that microscope doesn't just watch him. It watches all around him. He don't have anything to prove. He's done it already. You, however, are another matter. Get your stuff together and grow the hell up. Because clearly you haven't if a professor is writing letters like that about you.